We begin tonight with a two works for you crime alert. Law enforcement says that catalytic converter thefts are on the rise in green country. One Tulsa woman is dealing with a damaged car after she says thieves tried to take hers. Two works for you's Brady Halb live joins us live now with the warning for you. Brady. Yeah, that's right, Karen. Parking lots are the prime hunting ground for these kinds of thefts, thefts, and it only takes a few minutes to steal a converter. And as this trend continues to grow, one big mechanic says he does have a solution. It was yesterday morning when Kelly Kirkland's co-worker noticed two men appearing to work on her car outside of their office. Kirkland approached the men who said they were trying to fix a flat tire on their girlfriend's car. I said, that's my car. Those are new tires. And he said, oh, okay, she must be over there and pointed to the parking lot next to our facility, the business next door. And I thought, okay, that's strange. The two men apologized for the mistake and left. The whole encounter just taking five minutes. But when Kirkland tried to turn on her car, she noticed something was wrong. I start it and um, it's really loud. It sounds like I don't have a muffler. I can smell heavy exhaust fumes. Kirkland reported the incident to police and authorities have not yet commented on the incident. But after looking underneath her car, she noticed her catalytic converter had been damaged. <laughs> Kevin Richardson, owner of Gary's Automotive, is no stranger to this kind of theft and has even been a victim himself. Well, they have high dollar chemicals in them. He calls them little pots of gold, but in fact, they might be even more valuable than that. Catalytic converters often contain metals with a high price tag, like palladium, platinum, and rhodium, all which sell for a much higher price than gold. You have people that don't have money. These are untraceable. Richardson attributes the rise in thefts to the economy and says putting VIN numbers on converters may help catch thieves and curb the trend. Richardson went on to tell us that this is an expensive fix. It can be anywhere between 800 to a couple thousand dollars. Luckily, most insurances will cover that cost. In Tulsa, Brady Halbleib, two works for you.